the next morning. She should have talked to me before she went all gung-ho nympho. And when I played the fiddle like this, I called it moon fiddle. I am not that dirty little sphincter you're all familiar with. Another edition of the Talk Soup Weekly Wrap-Up. That's right, it's time to strap on those speed bags and start gulping down the dysfunction. Mm -hmm. I'm John Henson. Well, you know what time of year it is, Tom. It's back to school time. God, I remember it like it was yesterday. Going back to school, seeing my old friends, checking out the new girls, the parties, getting sick on the cafeteria food, getting beaten up by the chess club. Seeing my prom date in my guidance counselor's arms. Drinking till I passed out. Having my eyebrows shaved by the football team. Huffing paint in the parking lot. And yes, Daddy, I did my homework. I'll be a good boy, I promise. Don't be good. I... It's over. You were expelled. <laughs> over? It'll never be over, man. Coming up, Farrah Fawcett makes art with her bare buttocks. The gung-ho nympho takes no prisoners. Learn how to look years younger by making dorky faces. Plus, a talented pianist puts her best foot forward. Oh, a little something for music fans and those with a foot fetish. Kinky and cultured at the same time. First up, on a previous episode of the Jerry Springer Show, Brittany told her boyfriend David that she's actually a guy. The news blindsided him like a Mack truck. But his bum luck provided at least one viewer with a ray of hope. Her name is Pat, and she thinks her daughter, Lakita, is an ideal match for David. Let's see what happens when she tries to fix up the two of them in Britney's presence. She could be a model. She's looking for someone like you. You are... have two kids. But she got two kids. But she could have two kids. If you was listening. <laughs> okay. See if I'm getting Damn. this right. You are offering your daughter to David? She's grown. She's an old independent baker. Okay. Okay. Is She'll she here? Yes, she is. Let's bring her out then. Let's go. Fred, can you uh, roll that footage back and slow it down a little so we can we can see exactly? Yeah, here you, you see her trying to rip that shoe off as she's getting. Oh, didn't see that earlier. I don't know. I missed that. But uh, here they are carrying her off, and I think you'll see as she turns around that wig is starting to come off. I don't know. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Dang those fly fishermen, man! Like I always said, it pays to go back. Monday on Jerry, it's a special show for anyone who's ever been stalked by a demented ex-lover. And who hasn't, huh? Gals will tell their guy's former flames to back off! This stud puppy's mine! <laughs> that Vicki Lawrence can do it all. These days, she's even working as her own warm-up act. In the following highlights, she'll generate a little excitement for the opening segment of her show by interacting with a talented audience member named Nick Monteleone. Nick boasts at least one unique skill. He can name all of the country's presidents and vice presidents in less than 40 seconds. Or so he claims. Now, do you need me to stand or anything? Well, okay. No, your dad wants you to stand. Okay. 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 Here we go. I'm kind of nervous. Do we have 40 seconds on the clock? Yes, we do. Ready? Go. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Tyson, Jim Rowe, Doug Westy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Marvin Beer, Warm Harrison, John Tyler, Jerry Bell, Connect, Retail, Willis, Summer, Frankly Pierce, James McKinnon, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, Lester Scrant, Wither B. Hayes, and Glover, Chester, Hother, Grove, Green, Benjamin, Merson, Glover, Cleveland, Wilmot, Cleveland, Theodore Roosevelt, Lynn Tad, Woodrow, Wilson, Warren, Kevin Coach, Hubbard, Hoover, Franklin, Wilson, Harris, Dwayne, Dwight, Yazan, Dan Kennedy, Lynn, Jack, Richard, Nixon, Jeff, Orson, Connor, Ryder, Rigger, George Bush, Brooklyn, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Aaron Burr, George Clinton, Albert, Jerry, Dan, Topper, John, Sick, Lou, Marvin, Burr, Wilson, Dodson, John Tyler, George, Dodson, Wilson, Warren, Wayne King, John Brooklyn, Channel, Bohan, and Justin Tyler, Quick, and Wilson, Wayne, Willis, Chester, Thomas, Jack, Will, B. Ben, Morton, Adelaide, Stephen, Carol, Bar, Sarah, Roosevelt, Sarah, Frank, Machine, Sherman, Tom, Marshall, Sherman, Blue, Charles, Dodson, Sherman, 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 Sherman
Nothing, man. Using that method, I can name all the presidents in 10 seconds. Really? Sure I can. You ready? Yeah. Watch. George Washington. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Come on, man. I'm a pro. I can do the vice presidents in five seconds. Yeah, watch. Adam. I shaved two seconds off the record. I can even do the 1968 Atlanta Braves. Are you ready? Hank Aaron, Tommy Diablo, Bob Tiefenauer. Hey, you forgot Bill Pappas. God oh, damn, why do I always forget Pappas? Ding, dag. Darn. Thought I had it. Monday on Vicky, an interview with Shirley Jones. The former Partridge family matriarch will discuss the dark side of Reuben Kincaid. I never trusted him, man. In my version of Utopia, I'm the ruler of a peaceful nation filled with breweries and supermodels. The kind of place where you could park a brand new Acura on an urban street and not worry about thieves. Sadly, as this Keenan highlight illustrates, we've got a long way to go. Up next, Professor Wayans parks a car loaded with goodies in Crooktown, USA. And me? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep my crown in storage. At first, people just carefully scoped out the car, checking to see if the coast was clear. Then one guy decided to go for it. Got himself a nice VCR and laptop. Now check out this next guy. He's in no rush. Just nonchalantly filling up a bag with all the goodies he could get. Doesn't even play tennis. Now there goes the radio. Yo, man, check it out. Free stuff. Whoa, what was that? Let's go back. Yep, it was a policeman. Didn't even see a crime happening, probably chasing some jaywalker. Then Andre Agassi comes back with a bigger friend to help grab the TV. And finally, after hours of surveillance, check out the guy in the baseball cap. First, he just walks by. Then again. Now he actually stands behind the sign that says, Day Without Crime. We thought he might have changed his mind, but nope. There he goes. Oh, it may have appeared as if that crook got away scot-free. But later, fate took a deadly turn. Yeah, you see him trying to get away here. And oh, boy. Oh! As you can see, crime does not pay. Not in the land of the giant Gila monsters. Tuesday, Keenan enjoys the sultry vocals of Brownstone. Female trio will harmonize on a few cuts off of their latest album, Still Climbing. I'm not sure. I don't have the album. Conan O'Brien's show airs late at night, hence the name Late Night. Uh... Yeah, makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Most of his viewers are insomniacs like myself who'd rather watch TV than toss and turn in a puddle of their own sweat. But occasionally, an infant with a sleeping disorder will also tune in. The following soft-spoken word performance was taped with those restless tots in mind. Little baby, go to sleep, fall into a slumber deep. Let me sing a soothing song. You won't be awake for long, for long, for long. It's a funny thing you know, your comprehensions very low doesn't matter what i say as long as it's this gentle way this way this way drive-by shooting junkies fixed mass starvation new york knicks charles manson killing spree frank cheated on kathy lee Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Monday on Late Night, Conan jabbers with actress Gloria Rubin. 
the ER star, will talk about being featured with yours truly and People Magazine's most fascinating people issue. No kidding, you're in that issue too? Tom, you know I'm in that issue. I gave you a copy. I didn't read it. Tom! Keep your engines revving. This dysfunctional derby is just getting started. Coming up, a contortionist makes music from the lotus position. Plus, grimace your way to a younger face. But first, a conscience-stricken woman comes clean about her lesbian love affair. Sorry, Kenny, I fell in love with Kim. <laughs> I mean... You're never around, Kenny. I mean, it's not... She was lonely. An ancient art. Everybody wanted him to be my dad. An overnight success. He wanted to do it all by himself. A sudden death. This Sunday at 8 Eastern, he explores a legend that almost was. It's the premiere of Brandon Lee, the E! True Hollywood Story. But first, at 6 Eastern, the E! True Hollywood Story takes a look at teen idol River Phoenix. Then at 7 Eastern, it's the rise and fall of Jan Michael Vincent, the E! True Hollywood Story. A trio of promising beginnings and tragic ends. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern, only on E! excitement to the limit with great 97 model closeout values on Sunfire, Bonneville, Grand Dam, and Firebird with special low 2.9% APR GMAC financing or up to 2250 cash back on select models. Get into the action now for the best value of the year. Race to the red line and great 97 model closeout values on driving excitement at your Pontiac dealer today. Ooh, how lovely done. Oh, my little starfish. Behold a fruit boat of love lost in your sea of beauty. I am a fruit twist from Starburst. Come nibble on me and float on my river of fruit juiciness. Oh, a slippery mermaid. Ha ha ha. She plays her to get. Maybe cherry, lemon, or strawberry will entice you. Oh, oh, come on, boys. Fruit twist from Starburst. What the you? Sounds like a lot of fantasy role-playing nonsense. From the director of Seven. I want to know what it is. It's a game. They won't stop, Nick. Who are they? I paid them more to make them stop. The object of the game. So what are they going to do? Is to discover. Get away from the window. The object of the game. <laughs> Michael Douglas. Sean Penn. Who did this to me? The game. Who hired you? Rated R. Starts Friday, September 12th in theaters everywhere. suspected infidelity was wrong. But at heart, this Sally Guest has always been a fan of empirical science. So naturally, as soon as he got married, he had to thoroughly test his hypothesis. Three years and four mistresses later, he is now firmly convinced that his original suspicions were accurate. Cheating is indeed really, really bad. I met this girl beforehand. We knew each other well ahead of hand. Oh. And both of us were having problems, and we turned to each other. Second affair. Um, Third affair. Third affair. Um, that one was um, at, at a place back where we live. I, um, he brought this one into the house and told me that she was gay. And that she she's having all kinds of problems at home and she needs a place to come over and hang out. Okay. Fourth affair. Fourth affair happened at it. I was working... Man, you've had as many jobs as you've had affairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had it, too. But I was meeting this one girl. This one girl that I met, we, 
I had met her before I had an affair with her on my first wife, with, with this girl. Wow. We, we, met, we met up again where I was working. And just went out, took her place. Ron, why are you telling everybody on national television about these affairs? Why are you here? Because, unlike, unlike this gentleman down here, I feel that it was wrong what I did. Well, clearly the man is sick with remorse over his poor affairs. So his mustache is falling out, for God's sake. Ron's final words at the end of the show were, and I quote, Number five! Now serving number five! Tuesday on Sally, they're so vain they probably think the show is about them. Well, it is. Tune in as guests tell loved ones to dump their self-centered boyfriend. Ken and Kim have a child together and are about to exchange wedding vows. Sounds like they're on the road to a life of romantic bliss. But what's this? Look, up ahead, a large pothole by the name of Terry. She's Ken's roommate, but she's also a good friend of Kim's. A very good friend. I'd say more, but I don't want to spoil the surprises Jerry Springer has in store for you. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? <laughs> Sorry, Kenny, I fell in love with Kim. I mean... You're never around, Kenny. I mean, it's not... She was lonely. Like, is, is, it, is it my fault that I, I, I go to school, I'm trying, I mean... If it wasn't for you, I'd still be living on the street. You take me into the, you, you take me off the street. You take me into your house. You feed me. You get me like my life back on track after being in the army, getting all screwed up. And now you're taking my woman. Don't look at it like that. Maybe oh, we're just, look at, we're just no. sharing my woman. You know what, Kenny? If anything, I probably saved the relationship because you weren't paying attention to her. And if I didn't, maybe she'd be out with another man. Well, if, the, if there was a problem, if there was a problem, don't you think that like she should have talked to me before she went all gung ho nympho? <laughs> Gung-ho nympho? Why, why does that sound so familiar? Gung-ho nympho. Gung <laughs> oh, I know. She's beautiful. She's dangerous. <laughs> Going down? Foolish businessman, now kiss me or die. Gung ho nympho, coming soon. Oh, I loved that movie. Tuesday on Jerry, he answers the age-old question, is it his kid or that other guy I slept with? Springer will reveal the results of paternity tests and make some irresponsible panelists very nervous. Stick around, soup fans. There's lots more hijinks on the way. In a little while, I'll be opening up some viewer mail, except for the letters that begin, Dear Moron. Plus, Keenan scares the bejesus out of Mira Sorvino. But first, Farrah Fawcett paints with her butt. But I did a gluteus maximus. Okay. You, you know. actually made a portrait of a gluteus maximus, or you or you put the paint on your gluteus maximus? I put the paint on my gluteus maximus. Okay. On Mondays, the Wiltons always wore blue. On Tuesdays, they always played Pinochle. And on Thursdays, they always ate Chef Boyardee ravioli. Until one Thursday, a can of Superiori ravioli accidentally dropped into Mrs. Wilson's bag. Mm. Superiori had a redder sauce, firmer pasta, and plumper ravioli. In fact, it's the taste people prefer. They love the taste so much, they now eat it on Fridays wearing checks. Superiori from Franco-American. It's not what you're used to. It's better. Now available in family size.
Because their skin is delicate, Pampers Premium is cottony soft. Because skin needs air to be healthy, Pampers has airflow sides. Because the night lasts so long, nothing's more absorbent to help keep skin dry. Because your baby deserves the very best. Pampers Premium. Moms who try both prefer Pampers Premium. In fact, 63% more. Because dry and healthy skin is so important, pamper the skin they're in. It's a trio of promising beginnings and tragic ends with three true Hollywood stories. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific, only on E! Now there's an alternative to prescription Fen Fen. All natural herbal Fen Fen. Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Lamb announcing an exciting new treatment in weight loss. HPF Herbal Fen Fen is a new all natural approach to weight loss for all sizes. It works to reduce cravings and control hunger to help you lose weight. It's the all new, all natural approach to weight loss. Reduce the cravings, control the hunger, lose the weight. Available at fine retailers everywhere. For more information, call 1-800-257-5700. Make It Might now offers a week-long Happy Days Marathon featuring two classic blends. First, Chachinated, robust full-body episodes from the later seasons, chock full of chachi. Then de -chachinated, with all the rich full flavor of the early seasons and none of the chachi that makes some viewers restless and irritable. Enjoy both classic blends with a Happy Days Marathon starting September 8th on Make It Might. Welcome back to The Stew. I'm John Ed. Carol Maggio claims that regular facial exercise can make you look full decades younger, especially if you can clean and jerk with your eyebrows. In this highlight, she'll be showing Crook and Chase some of her patented countenance crafting techniques. So if you want fuller lips and a slimmer neck, or if you just like making goofy faces, pay close attention to the magic that is face or size. Sit tall in your chair. Now rock back. Little tiny mini rock. Smiling, rocking, breathing, sitting tall, thinking tall, long and strong neck. Keep your mouth closed and smile for a change, Charlie. Okay. Smiling, rocking, breathing, sitting tall. Now turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the right. Come on, keep rocking. Right, keep rocking. It. Keep rocking. Come on, keep smiling. Keep rocking. Keep sitting tall, thinking. Now turn your head to the opposite side. Turn your head to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Keep smiling. Okay, now what you do is relax. Blow your heart. Whew. So you do that. 35 front, 35 right, 35 left, and you will see a double chin in five days if you do it My twice face a day. is cramping. Twice. Twice. I mean, twice, twice, twice. twice. I can okay. see it. I can feel it working. Twice. Really? How about one for the lips? Everybody is one curious about the lips. Okay, we're and you don't want to have up. injections, obviously. No, no injections, everybody. You don't need them. Make them fuller. Turn the mouth corners up. Tighten the corners of your mouth in a knot. Mm -hmm. In your mind, visualize corners up one inch. Visualize corners down one inch. Place your index lip fingers lightly at the corners of the mouth. Pull them away in small up and down motions. To mimic what you're thinking at your mouth corners. So keep them tight at all times. Energy up, energy down. Strong up, strong down. Charlie, tight up, tight down. Think them up, think down. Keep moving the energy up and down. Don't want to tell you get a burn right here. You'll get the burn. Exercise on, ladies. And then pulse. Whoa, wait a second. What, what did she say about double chins? Play that again. So you do that. 35 front, 35 right, 35 left. And you will see a double chin in five days. I don't want a double chin. What the hell kind of face or size is this? Can I have crow's feet too, huh? How about a bigger nose? Is that possible? A bigger nose than a boil, maybe? Good God, lady. This is Dan Crook and Chase. Please give a warm welcome to Andy LaRusso, the singing chef. He cooks Italian and then makes like Pavarotti. And maybe he'll teach us how to get a pot belly. That'd be great. Wait till they get a load of me. Good Lord. Whoa, hey! What was that? Replace all divots there, man. Good thing that was there. I might have bumped my head. Now there are two ways to witness the glory of Farrah Fawcett's backside. You can purchase her steamy new pay-per-view special titled All of Me, or if that's a bit too crass for your refined taste, you can saunter over to the art gallery and pick up her tasteful butt painting. For more on her anal art, we turn our attention to Conan O'Brien. Okay, I did this great. Some of them are, are abstract, but some of them are... Well, they're very interesting. In fact, I was surprised. What, and the... I would think they would all be abstract. I mean, you, it, it's, not, you're, it's not a precise way to paint, really, you know? Oh, well, no, no, that's true. And most people think that. But I did a gluteus maximus, okay? You, you know? actually made a portrait of a gluteus maximus, or you, or you put the paint on your gluteus maximus? I put the paint on my gluteus maximus. Okay, right. And then I, I you know, did an imprint. Mm-hmm. 
and then mm -hmm. kind of went like that just to see, you know. And I would like four of these. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's great. It's first, uh -huh. it, it looks like an abstract, and then it does. It looks like a round, and you know, with some movement, and it, right. so it has energy. And mm -hmm. I was, I was surprised. You know why she paints with her butt? Because the pencil drawings were starting to chafe. That's what it was. Very, very, very irritating, Tom. Well, you know. Well, yeah. Tuesday on Late Night, Conan laughs and scratches with funny man Chris Rock. He was the host of the MTV Video Music Awards, which will be rerunning all weekend long. Still ahead on the weekly wrap-up, I'll be presenting our critically maligned clip of the week. Plus, we have some tips for those of you thinking of tattooing your private parts. And you know who you are. But first, two lesbians are company, but three's a crowd. Have you been having sex with our neighbor? Right. But only when you, I mean, it's like not taking away from our time because you're sleeping. <laughs>